In this video, we're going to use the TensorFlow Summary File Writer, tf.summary.filewriter, and the TensorBoard command line utility to visualize a TensorFlow graph in the TensorBoard web service. First, let's import TensorFlow as tf. Next, let's print out what version of TensorFlow we are using. We are using TensorFlow 1.8.0. The example we're going to create in this video is to add two named TensorFlow scalars together using the TensorFlow add operation. First, let's define our first constant scalar. So we use tensorflow.constant, we give it the value 10, the name of 10, and we assign it to the Python variable tf constant 1. Next, let's define our second constant scalar. So we use tensorflow.constant, we give it a value of 20, the name we give it is a string of 20, and we assign it to the Python variable tf constant 2. Since we are in the building the graph stage, both of these TensorFlow constant scalars haven't been evaluated in a TensorFlow session yet, so they are uninitialized. Let's now build a computational graph node that adds the two constant scalars together. So we use tensorflow.add, we pass in tf constant 1 and tf constant 2. The resulting summation is assigned to the Python variable tf constant sum. Now that we have created our TensorFlow graph, it's time to run the computational graph. So we launch the graph in a session, and we initialize all the global variables in the graph. So our constant 1, our constant 2, and our constant sum. Next, we want to send our TensorFlow graph to TensorBoard so that we can visualize the graph. The way we'll do this is to use TensorFlow's summary file writer to create a protocol buffer that serializes the structured data so that TensorBoard can later create a visual representation. So we do tf.summary.filewriter. We're going to write the event file to the graphs folder. And we're going to pass in our TensorFlow session graph. And we're assigning the file writer to the Python variable tf tensorboard writer. Now that we're done writing the file, let's close the file writer. Let's also close the TensorFlow session to release the TensorFlow resources we used within the session. Finally, we close Python so we can start TensorBoard from the command line. First, let's check to see if there's anything in the graphs directory. So we say ls graphs, and we see that we have our events file that was just written. Next, let's use the TensorBoard command line utility to specify where this file lives. So we say it lives in the log directory is the graphs. Now we can use the TensorBoard command line utility to specify the log directory and have it start the TensorBoard web service for us. You can see that we're using TensorBoard 1.0. 8.0. Rather than using this URL, what we're going to use is we're going to use localhost. So I go to the Chrome web browser and go to localhost 6006. And we can see that we are in TensorBoard. We see that we're in graphs. We fit it to the screen and we see that we have an init, a 10, a 20, and an at. We can zoom in and out so we can see a little bit better. Let's click on the 10 node. We can see that the operation is a constant. We see that the data type is in 32. It's a tensor, and the init value is 10. Let's click on the 20. We see that the operation is a constant. We see that the data type is in 32. It is a TensorFlow tensor, and the initialized value is 20. We can then click on the add operation. We see that the operation is add. We see that the data type is n32, and we see our two inputs that are named. So we have the named scalar input. We see that it says scalar here, and it's the name of 10. And we see that our second input is the scalar, which has the name of 20. So these two inputs are going to be added. And note that we didn't name the output, so we don't have anything here. We can close this and go back to visualizing our TensorFlow graph. One thing to note about TensorBoard is that because we're looking at the graph of the computation, it doesn't actually show us the result of the addition. So we don't actually know what this scalar plus this scalar added equals. Yes, we know that 10 plus 20 equals 30, but we don't see the actual computation. We just see the graph. Perfect. We were able to use the TensorFlow Summary File Writer, tf.summary.filewriter, and the TensorBoard command line utility to visualize a TensorFlow graph in the TensorBoard web service.